everybody. Uh, I hope that we're doing well here. Uh, my name is Lee Chi, and I'm an account manager uh, of Southeast Asia. So I'm going to talk to you about some common myths that I encountered in my capacity as an account manager and also a Google Analytics guru. Uh, and I'm going to use my uh, my paper notes because contradicting to my looks, I'm old school like that. All right. So, um, oops. So these are the common myths that I encountered. Um, um, we have five of them, uh, top five. So data discrepancy, getting started is complicated, only works with Google AdWords, and it only works online for online. And then there's limited support. So I'm going to define them Google side. So number one, uh, the number one concern that I encountered is that data discrepancy. So Google analytics data doesn't match up with you know, user product and blah, blah, blah. So one thing to keep in mind is that um, Data, uh, different methodologies produce different results. So, you know, like, uh, I know that, um, say for example, that different technologies use, say, fish tags, or uh, uh, file analysis, cookies, or a combination of both. Um, I re recently, let's take, uh, let's take um, fish tag, for example. Uh, I recently re read a, uh, an article about, it's a study, um, uh, 10,000 websites, uh, the, the, web, the study revealed that you know, for a larger website, the larger it is, and the website is likely to change, then more likely it is to um, the, the, the site is going to miss um, the, the, the site is going to not going to achieve uh, one percent error accuracy, tagging accuracy. So, and then another thing is that I want to uh, call Barbara, uh, who's not here, yet, uh, not, not here, um, that. We need to focus on patterns and then trends. So not absolute numbers. Um, you know, like it's, we need to. So I want to quote on Baba Asko, uh, this is her very first point on, of the presentation, that we need to look beyond the extremes. Um, we need to gain actionable insights. Um, it's not about data, it's about you know, looking beyond the extreme and then gaining uh, actionable insights. It's not data, it's not data without insights. And And then another concern that I get from my advertisers is that getting started is complicated. Um, well, is it? It's actually not very complicated. I'm sorry. Um, you can get analytics set up up and running in no time. Any has worked with you, um, you know, how to set that up. All you need to do is create an account, um, get the code, pass it to your webmaster, and then, well, you're done. And then also, um, you can, if you use a, a CMS system or use a template, it's even easier. Probably you can code to it's very easy. And then another bonus point is that uh, it's, it's easily integrated with Google Sites in the blogger. So recently I've been playing with Google Sites and I found that um, actually if you use this, you don't even have to um, you know, do the, the code testing. Um, you can completely bypass that. And then you can do that you know, through, through this. Uh, all you need to do is enter the property ID in your Google Sites and then while well, you're done. And one way I can imagine this is that say that they run AdWords to promote your business, and then you know, in addition to that, you use Google Sites to, you know, um, to a large sharing center among the sales team, and then you use um, analytics to track all of them, 
you know, in, in the center of this, you have full analytics to help you analyze the site uh, usage of in internal and, and external sites. And this is how you do it. You know, enter a public TID here and do that. And then also integration with uh, full size blogger that I mentioned there. And also there are plugins available for, say, Jingla or uh, WordPress. And then so you can use uh, your own personal blogs, this is where you can do it. And then also GA is very scalable. Um, so you can use it for your personal blog, you know, small from personal blog, or big to e-commerce site. All GA power. And then also, does it only work with Google AdWords? This is a valid, uh, valid constraint because I know this week we know Google Analytics with, uh, along with uh, AdWords a lot. But um, as uh, Stephanie has mentioned, uh, um, actually, well, Google Analytics is free and the standalone web analytics solution. It doesn't apply, require an uh, AdWords account. And then as Stephanie has mentioned, that you can actually use it to track your online media, say Yahoo or uh, MSN. And then you can do so by manually tagging the URLs by itself. So we provide this handy tool in the help center. It's called URL Builder. So all you need to do is you know search for it and where you can get to the page. And then enter this, the URL, the campaign source, the campaign medium, and the campaign name, and then generate the URL. Then you paste this uh, to you know, whatever campaign you use. And then also, it not only works with uh, online, but also you can leverage it to use uh, use it with offline. So what you can do is you can uh, you know make offline and online campaign work for each other. You do you use analytics to, to do a multi-channel analysis. So I'm gonna take, uh, mention some tips that I get from Anush's uh, blog. So one way to do this is use vanity URLs. So um, you know they they you know they they, they have very little uh, brick and mortar stores, mostly they buy their sales online. And then what you can do, what they did is, uh, when they run this TV ad, they plaster this URL, www.dell.com slash TV to all the uh, uh, advertisements, which redirects to this URL. And it has all the tagging information intact. And this is the website that uh, where it leads to. So you can track this, you know, measure how many people has booked because uh, they saw the TV ad. And also, you know, if you use voucher codes, you, you can also easily track them. You know, just set them up, and then uh, use the voucher code as a, a separate product, and then you can measure the ROI of them. And then also, what you can do is also create traffic patterns um, for your offline ad, ad air times and um, pattern. Say, for example, that you run a TV ad in France, um, and you want to see what is the impact to your uh, to what's the in the area. So let's do a comparison. You can, we can use the map overlap, uh, overlap report that we saw earlier. But we do it seven day before airtime and after the comparison. And then get to this page. Um, look at the uh, comparison view. And then you can see which city gives you a bigger uh, response in, uh, to your uh, advertisement on TV. And then last, um, some of my clients, they think that, okay, then this product, you know, is really available, so there's very limited uh, support for it. Well, this is not true. Actually, we have plenty of support for it. Um, you know, I'm gonna list a few. Google Analytics Help Center, uh, this, this site is great. Uh, if you are new to Google Analytics, this is where you should start. Um, you can get, uh, it gives you an overview of the product, and then also answers uh, frequently asked questions. And then also, you can use this search bar here to get fast answers, not only from the F FAQs, but also from uh, relevant, relevant uh, blogs, or forum posts, and uh, partner sites. And then also, um, speaking of forums, uh, this is where you can actually participate in uh, asking questions, or you know, even answer questions, you know, get some bragging rights. Um, and then, you know, this is where you can, and some, uh, there are even Googlers participating in here, so we can you know, have a conversation online with uh, specialists, Google specialists. And then also, you, if you are the type who like to get their hands dirty, um, this is where you, you, come, uh, where you come to Google Analytics both side. So this side is uh, geared towards people, uh, technical inclined people. So you say you're a developer and you really 
like to customize uh, the tracking code. And of board, you know, you're simply one of those types who, who just want to be you know, curious about how uh, the technical aspect of the product is where you come to. And then, as you can see here, uh, it actually tells you how uh, data is calculated, how tracking code is used, um, etc. And then also, we, we have this uh, program called Google Analytics Authorized Consultant. So we give you a list. Uh, if you would like to engage you know, additional help, you would like to hire outside help to get, uh, help you with your analytics, this is where you come to. And then we give you a list of all their locations and then the different type of services that they provide. And you don't have to use you know, any one. You, know, you don't have to use one set up in your geolocation, but um, we, we make it easier for you to find them. And then also, uh, there are the, uh, the official YouTube channel, uh, Google Analytics. This is great help. Um, personally, I find that uh, NGOs are more helpful, you know, more efficient in terms of training purpose. So, you know, uh, you know, plus you can just come to YouTube and watch these videos, and then when your boss asks you why you are watching video, why you're on YouTube, why at work, you can tell him, you know, I'm adding value to the company by self training, right? And totally, total uh, career progressing. And then also, Google Alex, the official blog. This is where you find the latest information on the program, and then also uh, what's coming up with the program, and then also uh, there are some relevant events. And last but not least, the solutions for Southeast Asia. Um, so this is where um, we, you know, we want to deeply engage with our users here in, in Southeast Asia. So this is where um, we provide you all the Google solutions pertaining to this region. And it's made, meant uh, by number by the name. So if you would like to hit him, you know, go side, say hi to him, and then subscribe to this blog. All right, so it's very short, and then you know we want to keep everybody engaged. So this concludes the presentation, and then we're gonna take a, a short 20 minutes break, and then you know go recharge on your caffeine. Thank you.